Okay, so I'm going to start doing more videos with uh, where I where you can plan with me for the month, the uh, coloring month. Um, so, <laughs> but to do that, I wanted to prepare a few videos, and one of them is color your horde video. So the uh, books that I haven't colored in yet, um, just so you know uh, what I sort of have going. And uh, I usually enjoy watching videos like this, so whatever. Uh, anyway, <laughs> first up we have, uh, I will start with my new books. So the ones I got in December. A few of the new books I have already colored, but Call Me Enchanted I've only started in. And for me, by the way, um, it doesn't count until I've finished the page. Uh, so even though I have a whip in here, let's see, this one, I uh, still don't count this as, uh, I still count it as uncolored in. Uh, so yeah, that's one, and I hope to continue, I mean, I hope to color like two of these, book, these books per month, so yeah. Then uh, in December I also bought myself uh, some Teresa Goodrich books. <laughs> I know, I know I haven't been good enough in coloring in the ones I do own, but these just, I mean, I, I wanted them, and it was Christmas, and I've just gotten a new, or a, my first real job, and uh, all that that entails. So I splurged a bit. Uh, <laughs> I usually, I usually I just, you know, I maybe buy a haul like once or twice per year. So, hey, it's okay every now and then. But these are wonderful. This one I've owned for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so these three are new. Home Sweet Home, Autumn Charm, and Country Gardens. And I like Home Sweet Home as well a lot. Uh, love these images with uh, cats and dogs especially. Yeah, this one really calls out to me. Uh, but this one is an old one. That I've owned for maybe two years. So let me just move this little notebook. Um, and here I have a whip. Yeah, okay. This is one of my forever whips. <laughs> uh, it's been a work in progress for like two years or more. Mm? But I've been good in the other Teresa Goodrich books. So like, uh, I, because I bought... When I first bought the Teresa Goodrich books, I bought the seasonal ones. So spring, autumn, winter, summer. And I've colored one in each of the other ones. I just have spring left and it's a whip and yeah. I mean, it's just, it's also just, just a few things left, like the wine, the apples and you know, the, the food. <laughs> but the food is no fun to color. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, those are on my color your hoard list. Then we have a new purchase also, like the Ken Matsuda book. I love this. Absolutely adore it. Look at that. So beautiful. Reminds me a bit of uh, Kirby, but also don't. Not like, yeah. It's just so wonderful. I think it's the shading that reminds me of Kirby. Uh, but yeah, love that. Want to do that. A bit intimidated, but also not really. And next we have the Mysterious Library. This has, this has been on my uh, like wish list for ages. And now I finally have it and I'm so happy. And I have been eyeing um, the Red Riding Hood page. Yeah, I love the this one. I love this page. I adore it. I heard someone saying that they don't like the trees and I'm like, what? <laughs> They're the best part. <laughs> Uh, like, because it's so graphic. I love that the trees are so different and, you know, so weird, patterny. I, I, yeah, something about that really calls to me. And I love this uh, uh, Rapunzel page as well. Yeah, so that's another one. And then we have another new one, Meine Reise durch Europa. I know, yeah, again, like I own, Therese, uh, what's her name? Uh, Rita Bermans. Uh, seasonal books and last I checked I felt like I hadn't colored enough in them but again like it was Christmas and I got my first real pay and yeah it happened <laughs> at least at least I only bought my Reise and I didn't buy uh, uh, the Welt under the Lupe so Landa and so so 
that's something. But yeah, I love this. Yeah, it's also on my color hoard list. And then I bought Odyssey. Woo! So happy. <laughs> I love uh, Joseph Kattenbang's mythographic designs. Um, I saw he had a new one, the um, Winter something, Frozen something. Um, I'm not sure. I when I looked at the flip through of that one, I wasn't so sure that one. Yeah, it felt a bit more. A bit less detailed maybe or a bit more rushed or I don't know hey I love this at least and really really I was uh, eyeing uh, this page I really because there's a lot going on here and there's like a story and I think that when I color in the sand in yellow it was all start to make sense and that always, that's what calls to me in these uh, mythographic books, to make sense of the really messy design. Not messy, but be really detailed and... Yeah, it's sometimes hard to see what it's about. Like... This one here, what's even happening? There's a candle, there's probably a phoenix coming out of a candle there. So cool. Yeah. Love that. I... Yeah, and now I have three of his books and I feel like that's maybe a set <laughs> so i don't because i i do have a bit of a full set syndrome uh but not enough to like really uh like i get the cravings but i don't uh i have the power to withstand it <laughs> at least this far uh maybe it's the student budget we'll see how my life goes from now on anyway and another new book uh is dreamland i um adore this absolutely adore it i just uh, this is it's single-sided which i don't like uh, i'm not one of the few people <laughs> who doesn't like that but uh and also like these designs would be even more fun to color if they were in a smaller size book i feel like um but uh i mean this one is probably the one i'll start with because it's really calling out to me i uh Ah, oh, so beautiful. But I feel like they're a bit old to me. Um, and I try not to get stuck in seasonal coloring, like I want to color books in that are out of season as well, but uh, I do get a bit stuck in that. Anyway, next new book, or the last new book actually, before we go to my really guilty pile. <laughs> It's my first color by number book. I haven't owned the single color by number, but now I own one. <laughs> and it's a George Defex's one. I love George Defex's design. I am thinking, I'm thinking I'm probably a bit too much of a rebel to follow the color schemes. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll probably do a bit of my own thing. But what I want to learn is where to put uh, i'll use this a bit of a as a study of where to put shadows because i love the color designs that uh, are already in this book and i love where the shadows are put so i want to sort of for my own sake uh, maybe maybe pick up a few tricks like, for example, for trees, obviously, the, the way they're done in this book is by having a, a lighter part on the um, outside of the tree, and then the inside of the tree is uh, it's a bit hard to explain, but like the outer edges would be the lighter color, while the darker color would be the inside part, uh, which is a bit uh, counterintuitive to counterintuitive yeah um i feel like maybe because otherwise if you shade the sphere you would put the darker colors on the outside of it um but yeah so stuff like that and you see also here the grass for example like okay that's the way i would do it too darker at the bottom and then lighter at the top but yeah there are a few tricks like that i want to pick up so that's the um last new one yeah 
Okay, now we come to my old books. <laughs> okay, uh, first my guilty pie is the Dunk the Dunkle Welter Märchen. I love this. I saw it at V's channel first, and I think she called uh, not this one but another one with the three sisters, and I totally fell in love with like this black, uh, really black line art. I, I adore that. This one I think she's it's the one she colored uh, really beautifully. And um, yeah, love that. I have started one and it's a horrible start. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. There it is. It, it, it looks horrible right now, in my opinion, like the colors, but uh, this is the way my marker based pictures look before I go in a shade. So I mean, it doesn't mean that the end result will be that I won't like the end result. I, I sort of know that that uh, this is probably going to turn out okay in the end anyway. Probably, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, not liking this right now. Mm. I'm thinking of because that's also then stopping me from like, do I want to start a new one or do I want to finish an old whip? That's always the problem with books where I've started whips on my color to ho color your hoard list. I don't have a problem with having whips in books that um, I have colored a page in or books in I color a lot in I have a lot of whips in. But books where I haven't colored co completed a single page in I feel like it's unfair to start new whips for some reason which is just yeah that stupid hang up. But uh, yeah I probably will start a new one actually. And again, this one is it's a pity because it's a... I don't want to get stuck in thinking that this is just a Halloween book. Because it's really not. I mean, it's... You can have nightmares every time of year and like fairy tale night nightmares. Yeah. This one anyway. Love that. Ah, need to color in that. Next up we have... Uh, and this is a bit weird that it's on my color your whore list. Because I love Ola Tunnel. And I was, like, you know, salivating over her line art for months and months before I finally bought both her Dusk Magic, which is her real coloring book, and her Little Black Fox, which is actually an art book, but which I've colored a lot in. While in Dusk Magic, I haven't. <laughs> and the paper is, like, wonderful. The designs are stunning. I, I mean, I adore this. They are so, so beautiful. Especially like this one with the fox. Look at that. So beautiful. And, and I've started this page and I haven't completed it. And I think I'm a bit stuck on with col what color to do the cape. This is an ink intense base right now, but I plan to go over it with pencil. Um, yeah, and I think it's also that I want to do this designs justice, so that's probably also what's, uh, yeah, keeping me from from just coloring mindlessly in them, or like, you know, uh, without pressure, because I just, I mean, this are, it, it's so beautiful, oh, I could just, yeah, and have you seen her art? Let me just... Five seconds. Oh no, let's see if I can even. <laughs> uh, over here. So I have her, I bought the full set of her books, like both art books and the coloring book. And this is one of her art books. And I mean, I. <laughs> it's so stunning. The colors. The freedom, like, and when she does this, she just, yeah, okay. Look her up. <laughs> Stop gushing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Dusk Magic anyway. I need to color in that more. I haven't, and I can't really defend myself. I can't defend myself for why I haven't colored in uh, Bennett Klein, though. Yes. <laughs> I own one Bennett Klein book. I, um, yeah, got probably as many others inspired by Didi Willingham. And her beautiful coloring in these books. But this is the one I've started. Uh, grayscale. 
grayscale is uh, hard. I have trouble with grayscale. Um, but this is um, my start. And it's not that bad. Um, I should just do it. But it's the grayscale and it's the paper. Uh, I'm, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> it wasn't as fun as Lini made it out to be. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, they are so cool. Um, so I do plan to finish at least one picture in here. Uh, maybe I should start a new one because I think like this purple is also throwing me off. Uh, so maybe this steampunked octopus. Yeah. So cool. More of that. Next up is also a grayscale one, the uh, Fantastische Smalbuch, and I. I mean. I bet you've seen these pictures. They are stunning the way they are. But this is really... Oh, the grayscale is really like... Uh, it's obvious that they've just scanned in a uh, um, watercolor painting uh, and just made it black and white. Uh, so for example, what, what this background... <laughs> how do I... <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I mean, I have some ideas and I uh, will definitely try. And uh, there are some beautiful, uh, like some, yeah, YouTubers who are really good at coloring in this book as well. The, I have started one, uh, this one. This was my first time trying grayscale, I think. And uh, yeah. <laughs> there's just there's so much and uh, I'm not happy with there was something I I don't know probably that I, I chose this was my first time coloring grayscale and I chose some of the colors I chose was really was too dark so the shadow doesn't come through and um, yeah that's one issue another issue is this uh, with uh, using the uh, pan pastel in some areas that needs to be smoothed out and uh, covered Another thing is probably this really uh, screamy green, <laughs> like a green that screams. Uh, but uh, again, this is just a base and I do think that this will turn out okay uh, when everything is done. So like when I've shaded everything in with pencils on top. Um, but I just need to do that. Fun, 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 <laughs> and yeah, I actually, yeah, that's the issue that I don't, I don't feel like this will be a fun, fun, fun thing. Uh, I should probably start another picture instead. Um, but that's uh, this grayscale. How? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a line out girl. Uh, anyway, that's that. And last but not least is Dragons in Nature special. I. Like Anastasia El, El, uh, Anastasia Eli Koldoreva is one of my, like many others, are probably one of my favorite artists. Uh, she has both her these books, uh, her old ones, so to say, with mer mermaids and dragons, and uh, yeah, I think she had one mer mermaid legends. Then she has. Two dragon books, and then she started putting out the uh, portrait books that are really popular, so Mysteria and uh, stuff like that. And I don't have the portrait books. I have uh, started many whips in here because I love these designs, and I can't. I mean, it's probably. I think it's the paper. I'm. I'm not that uh, thrilled about the creative. Uh, this uh, what's it called? Cre creative Heaven paper. Uh, but yeah. I'm um, paper snob, I guess. Uh, I've started this one. This was the first one I started. Um, yeah, I just need to... It's just pencil work left to do. It's a base with... Um, ink tense, graphite tint, and... Marker. And we have... This dragon. Also an old whip. This book is probably uh, a few... It's a few years old, at least. Um, oh, I did write down what number of the uh, pen I was using to shade in. That's good. <laughs> this is a base with, uh, I think it's watercolor, and then 
markers on top and then I will go on top of the markers with pencils is the plan and then we have another one here this one could be finished <laughs> but I, 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 I'm not calling it finished because for me it isn't <laughs> it needs shading also and um, but yeah this is an alcohol marker base and I need to go over that so three whips in this one but not a single finished ah <laughs> but hey at least i finished one in my other creative heaven book that also was uh, neglected for a long while the sorceress and sorceresses book i finished that last one yeah <laughs> but yeah these are my so from the old stack that i haven't bought new ones of i only have five books in my collection out of like a hundred something like a hundred books um and five of those i haven't colored in and these are old books but then we have this stack from <laughs> from my <laughs> wild purchases in december uh which are a few more so i have i have a, a bit of work cut out for me this spring if i want to go down to i mean hopefully to zero but uh, five would be okay again as well <laughs> Yeah, so that's my color your hoard list. And uh, let me know if you want me to prioritize any of this or like, you know, spur me on. Uh, <laughs> tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I will listen to you, but uh, <laughs> because I'm, I'm bad at, not because I don't want to, but because I'm bad at uh, forcing myself to do things. But uh, I would love to hear anyway. 